today we're gonna celebrate one of my most loyal and enthusiastic subscribers, No Man Star. Happy, happy birthday to you. In case this video comes a little late, um, I haven't forgotten you. I've just been having a really rough man flu, which is taking its toll on me. And I know that you as well had have some had some rough weeks lately, and the world in general have been having a rough time, both uh, globally and locally and personally. So today we are gonna celebrate. And the other day it was the funeral of one of my most precious friends, but he really was a ray of light, such a great inspiration. He was embracing the life with both hands and uh, I believe that even though we're having some rough times, we have the ability to shine some light into this world and some love and hope. So uh, today I'm going to listen to a band that you recommended for me. And this is exciting. It's the band called Rush. It's a Canadian band said to be classical rock legends and i've been having this um uh metal journey on this channel and uh this is not uh considered a metal band i guess but they have been influencing a lot of metal bands i know like iron maiden and tool and several others i guess and um when i've been reading about this band the name neil pert is mentioned several times and he was the drummer of this band and also considered one of the best drummers in history and he was also writing the lyrics and i have been um, peeking at the lyrics for this song i'm gonna listen to the trees and i have to say this was a really really beautiful poem i can't remember the last time i've been reading a lyric like that it was really a classical and so beautiful poem and also it fits in to to this to the times we are living in i would say so even before i start to listen to this i am really excited so let's just jump into this celebrate the birthday of no man star thank you for recommending me this and thank you for your enthusiasm and your loyalty so let's celebrate you right now with one of your favorites that you have been her uh, hearing listening to since you was a child so let's go and let's press play there is unrest in the forest There is trouble with the trees For the maples want more sunlight And the oaks ignore their pleas mm. Beautiful Okay, this was a uh, really uh, um, oh, I I don't find the word. What's the word? Not shocking. It's surprising. It surprised me. 
uh, I was sitting there, almost namaste, you know, in peace, uh, with a 70s kind of um, uh, comforting and beautiful sounds and really getting into that. And boom, then they came with this rock thing, which is, oh, I don't know, is it metal? Well, it's rock. And it was like a uh, contrast, and that is fun. And it's so nice to see those beautiful 70 uh, aesthetics going on here. And uh, also the lyrics fits really into this like love and peace kind of hippie, hippie thing. And that somebody said that the metal community came out of the hippies in a way. Uh, yeah, now I really start to understand that even more, the similarities of that, going from a hippie to a metal uh, dude. Anyway, I want to listen to some more. So let's press play. <laughs> That must be Neil. Sorry. for interrupting in the middle of something here they are really playing around with uh, the different kind of styles and i feel that i'm watching something important here something is uh, like the birth of something musically and they are so cute to watch it's a little muppet show and in a good way i mean that as a compliment um because they are kind of uh characters and uh, fun to watch and still they have this like i said this hippie thing going on it's like mellow and a little meditative and suddenly it's like energy and so uh, like i guess the hippies where they can meditate and suddenly they can take some kind of drug that make them really energetic and then uh, run around and being happy and then sleep and be really calm and mellow 
So, yes, this was interesting and a little unexpected because when I read the lyrics, I was kind of waiting for some something else. I don't know why, because the the poem is so rhythm, rhythmically and very straight in a way, and the music is much more all all over the place. The, the different things going on all the time and experimental. And uh, yes, let's listen to the rest. And let's press play. <laughs> I felt that I was watching something important, like I said. Uh, I read somewhere that they are legends and many other bands are inspired by them. So it's fun to see a band like that. And also to go back a few years to the 70s and their aesthetics and the sound image that they had at that time. But also to listen to this poetry it is so beautiful and maybe it's not so easy to to hear the words when he's singing it but uh so i think i i need to read this as a poem just to be sure that we get every word because it's such a beautiful poem so here it goes the trees. There is unrest in the forest, trouble with the trees. For the maple wants more sunlight, and the oaks ignore their pleas. The trouble with the maples, and they quite convince they right. They say the oaks are just too loofy, and they grab up all the light. But the oaks can't help their feelings if they like the way they're made. And they wonder why the maples can't be happy in their shade. There is trouble in the forest, and the creature all have fled, as the maples scream oppression, and the oaks just shake their heads. So the maples form a union, and demanded equal rights. They say, the oaks are just too greedy. We will make them give us light. Now there's no more oak oppression, for they passed a noble law, and the trees are all kept equal by hatchet, axe, and saw. My God, that poem gives me the chills, because it's so full. Uh, I don't know <laughs> how to explain it, but it's so rich and make us reflect and think about things when it comes to being uh, um, having right or not, being in a war, um, uh, having um, being stubborn saying that you're right or not. It's a lot about all, all those different things that we can think about, not only these days, but 
it's like um I'm sorry, my head is a little off today. This is the man flu kicking in. I can't remember what I was supposed to say. But anyway, wasn't this great? And it, it is really uh, a pleasure <laughs> to celebrate the birthday of No Man's Star. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that you're with me. So, and it's so nice to see someone who has been really an inspiration for other people. And I'm thinking about my friend um, and somebody that had a speech in his uh, funeral saying that we are forever changed for the better of it. And that is something I will take with me because I want to really be someone who can be uh, inspiration for other people or to I can shove some love or shade some light into this world as good as I can and hopefully uh, that will be for the better of somebody else and I really hope that and I hope that by watching this video it's changed you for the better as well and I hope that you will um, follow me on this incredible journey that I have. And if you haven't watched my other videos, I have a metal journey on my, uh, on my channel that you can follow because it's, uh, and I think it's really interesting journey. And I want to continue with that and I want more inspiration and um, more recommendations. So please give me some love in the comments, give me some more recommendations. And again, No Man's Star, happy, happy, happy birthday to you. And thank you again so much for being you, being so enthusiastic and lovely to me. And until next time, dear friends, hold on and stay strong. Namaste.